Act one, scene one, take seven. Yo, yo, I'm Lois with the most, and this is your story of the week. I like to call it, you better believe it, bamboo chicken. For as many times as I've told this story, and typed the words, you've got to hear my bamboo chicken story, I can't believe I actually haven't sat down and recounted it just like this. It takes place about eight years ago. It was my honeymoon cruise with my wife at the time, Charlene. We got married on Miami's famous South Beach, and then we were going to take off on our cruise, the Carnival Paradise, non-smoking ship at the time, for our exotic Caribbean cruise. Now, four days into our itinerary, there was a stop. It was Belize City, Belize. And one of those shore excursions that we like to do was a cave tubing and zip lining experience. It sounded pretty fun, and I really liked to do it. Uh, it involved uh, floating down this river on an inner tube, checking out all the things that I like to do, slag tights, slag mites, and what have you. So, on the bus to the spot, we were told by the tour conductor that we're in for a special treat. It's a Belizean culinary experience called bamboo chicken. Now that should have been my first clue that there was a little surprise at the end, but no, I missed it. It was going to be served at a restaurant called Cheers with a Tropical Twist. Well, there was a twist, all right, and we're about to find out why. And as soon as we get to the spot, you get to pick out a miner's hat with a light and your inner tube that you're about to use on this short excursion. So we pick out all the necessary equipment and schlep all this stuff about a half mile up the trail so that the gravity of the river and, of course, the, the route of the cave will take us down. What? Fine. Done. We get to the cave entrance, and it's wide enough so about 40-some-odd people can go all at once. So everyone starts throwing down their inner tubes, and I throw mine down in front of me. Now, you got to remember something. If, if you don't know anything about me, I swim about as well as a 40-pound anvil. My wife knows this. So I throw myself down there, I try and get myself adjusted, and splash, I go right into the water. I sink like a rock. But somewhere in between actual impact and when I am grabbed from my shoulder, nape of my neck, and my shirt, she pulls me clean out of the water like a breaching whale and slams me back down onto the inner tube. She just barks at me, and she couldn't believe it. She's like, what, four days into this uh, marriage, and you want to kill yourself? Now, mind you, about five years later, we actually do divorce, and I am thankful for that. Anyway, I digress. Oh, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, I start squirming around in my inner tube once more, because I'm not comfortable being on my chest. She finally just barks at me, just sit there. Fine. So we get to the next spot, we pick up our inner tubes, we plop them back down, and we continue on with this uh, splunking or quasi-splunking type of excursion without any life-threatening incidences or further draw. Okay? We get to uh, the bus, and he says, all right, well, it's time for you to be fed. So they drive us off to Cheers with a Tropical Twist. It's an all-you-can-eat buffet. After being damn near killed, rescued, splunking, ziplining, and all that other stuff, I was hungry. I was a starving mark. Well, I spotted two of our friends that were on the cruise ship as well, and they're at my table, Sean and Lauren from Connecticut. So I hit them up and said, hey, would you like to sit with us? So we found an open table and sat down. Now, Charlene doesn't eat anything, and I mean anything, from the bone in public. Don't ask, okay? So she only gets fruit salad. So... I sit down with everything in front of me and start noshing on this top. Well, she isn't even bothering with the very little that she had plated up, and I'd asked her, why? What's your, what's your deal? So she suddenly turns the plate to me, and there is a dead center right in the middle of it. Fantastic. Well, that doesn't stop me, because I'm hungry, and I just keep on keeping on. I didn't have any of the fruit salads, so it didn't matter to me. I feel like crap. Okay? So... I get to the third plate, and the bleezing women that are serving this up in one of those catering carafes are talking to each other in front of me, whispering in their native language, probably something to the effect of what a crazy American white keeps 
eating this bamboo chicken. So I'm finally satiated and it's time for us to go. So the tour conductor says, thank you so much for enjoying it. Let's get you back to the cruise ship. So we get back to the pier. Now the pier has a tender and that's a smaller boat that's just going to take us off to the cruise ship, but we had just missed the last one. So we have to hang out and there's enough things around there, which is a couple of shops and uh, a courtyard and they're absolutely filled with iguanas basking in the sun. Well, I have my camera with me, so I decided to just click away. I have two iguanas back at home, Edward and Francis. So they um, were, you know, something uh, special to me. So I was clicking away. There is a one room, one person only uh, shanty shack that Charlene wanted to go to and shop in. She saw some shirts, and you guessed it, right here, she bought this for me. So the shop owner comes out, lights a cigarette, and kind of stands next to me. I'm clicking away at all the different iguanas and all the different shots that I can get in there. It's like, click, click, click. It says, you like iguanas, huh? Yeah, somewhat. Click, click, click. It says, I don't. They're a menace. They're everywhere. Look! Like, yeah, I see them there. It says, do you want to know what we call them here in Belize? Before I even had a chance to answer, you guessed it, we call it bamboo chicken. Of course you do. So I start cracking up laughing because I came to the sudden horrible realization what I had three plates of just hours prior. I'm a kid with a new swear word. I can't wait to explain this to this uptight couple from Connecticut. Okay, so we get on the tender and we move on into the night. It's time for dinner. This is my time to shine. So, the regular routine is that we would talk about our shore excursions or our day's events or things that had happened to us before we had met up. Now, I usually started off, I know, shocking, right? Well, I deferred to the Pennsylvania couple that was next to me and let them go about each of their days. They're also uber curious because I never deferred an opportunity to talk first. So, as we progress throughout their days, we get to Sean and Lauren. They defer to me because they were on the same shore excursion, so they want to know what, what, what was so exciting that I had to share with them, right? Okay, so they, my turn. Fine. So, I explain everything all the way up until that shop owner, because I want to make sure that I am directing all my attention to Sean to make sure that he understood exactly what we had eaten that day. So, I explained to him, and then I bark out, I said, then that is bamboo chicken. He freaks out, he does this whole thing with his arm, but they had the little flap, and he does this thing like a chicken wing. I said, Sean, did you see a chicken coop anywhere along the way? Did you see any sort of fences? Did you see anything that would really give you any sort of clue that anything but an iguana? So, no, is your answer. He says, He's, he's just beside himself. He completely. So he knocks over his chair, he leaves in a huff, Lauren's on his heels, and they take off. And there's a small and very short hush over the table. Whew. Pennsylvania over here to my left turns and looks at me and says, So, does it taste like chicken? <laughs> <laughs>